Before installing the panels, you will need to pre-install the drywall or install furring strips which will allow drywall installation later. In any case, the face of the timber frame should be flush to the face of the rim joist at every post, but this doesn't always happen. Being that the wall panels will be screwed along the bottom edge into the rim joist just above the sill, the ribbon band or furring strip should be nice and straight all the way to the sill. If not, the panel bottom will be pulled in or bulge out at the bottom, creating problems for the siding and exterior trim. Check this using a straight edge. If the wire chase gap is greater than 3 fourths of an inch, you can use thicker stock or layers of thinner stock. If there's a severe taper, you may want to rip some 2 by stock or a taper to match. If you have used a 2 by 12 for your sill and left it wide, now is the time to measure it out 4 and a half inches from the chalked line and rip it off. If the remaining dimension is less than four and a half inches, you will need to build out the edge so it becomes flush to the panel face. Before any panels go up, you also need to install wires for any exterior floodlights or other fixtures that you may want. There is detailed information on wiring in the wall panel and roof panel installation sections of your manual.